Hello Sagittarius. This is going to be your reading for the week of July 30th, 2023. Take only what resonates to leave the rest. If you are interested in a personal reading, the link is down in my bio or in the description box. And that's the only way you can get a personal reading. I will never reach out to you to ask you if you want a personal reading. Let's see what else. If you like your video, please be sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe if you want to. All right, Spirit. What does Sagittarius need to know for their week of July 30th? For the week of July 30th for Sagittarius. are totally overthinking something okay I think at this time it's just really difficult for you to follow your heart when it comes to a certain situation I feel like that you're in a spot here okay all right all right so the bottom deck energy we have here is the Queen of Cups the Queen of Cups is somebody who's very nurturing. Now, this could be somebody that is in your life, or it could be you representing self-love, or it could be the combination of both. Okay. So, the Queen of Cups is very encouraging in a way of wanting you to love yourself, wanting you to move forward, wanting you or encouraging you to do things from the heart. So that way you can succeed when it comes to certain things. We also have the King of Cups present here. Okay. But the King of Cups is surrounded by all these swords. So I feel like that you could be guarding your heart. You could be overthinking so many things. You're thinking about all the possibilities of what could go wrong. But let me ask you. How many possibilities are you thinking about of what could go right? Okay, so with the Nine of Swords, we have the Nine of Swords and we have the Eight of Swords. Then we have the King of Cups. Then we have the Tower. Then we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Five of Pentacles. All right. With the Queen of Cups being the bottom deck energy so the nine of swords tells me how much you are stressing out about this the nine of swords is all about making mountains out of molehills it's like if you're thinking about the worst case scenario of everything that is what you're doing okay with the eight of swords the eight of swords is about not seeing things for what they actually are so if you're so busy being in a mindset of this isn't going to work or that's not going to work or this could go bad or that could go bad. But you have that blindfold on that you're not looking at the possibilities of if I put the work in, this is what good could happen. If I, if I step forward and I am present in a situation, then I could have what I want. You're so busy looking at what you can lose you're not looking at what you can actually gain. It's almost like you're blinding yourself off. So with the King of Cups being here, it's like you're not even paying attention to where your heart is at because you're so busy overthinking everything. You're overthinking to the point of not even listening to your heart. Your heart could be saying, yo, I'm trying to get your attention here. And you're like, yeah, I don't even want to look at you because I have to control everything. We have the tower moment. <laughs> we have a tower moment coming towards you. But right after that tower moment is the Ten of Cups. I feel like that you are working on breaking down your old methods. Like your old method is to overthink, to freeze yourself, to not move forward, to talk a good game 
but not put any effort into what you actually want. So, you know, in your mind, you feel like you're doing yourself a favor by not starting something. But really, you don't know if it would succeed or not because you're not even trying. If you don't try, what, what's that quote that I heard? I'm not going to quote this verbatim, apparently. But there's some quote that I read somewhere that if you try, there's a 50-50 shot. There's a 50-50 chance that you're going to succeed. But if you don't try at all, you're automatically failing. So I feel like that you are at that crossroads of, <clears throat> I know that I need to do something. I know that I need to have more faith. I know that I need to trust the path a little bit. I know that things are not going to work exactly to my little plan, you know. But after this tower moment, it's like I'm going to change my method of thinking. I'm going to have more faith into something. And right after that tower moment, we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's like you have to break down your own barriers in order for this portal that happened for you. You have to get your mind in a different space. And I feel like that you're working on it. But with the Five of Pentacles, there's something that you're still not letting go of. You could have... Uh, I don't know why. I just... I heard tainted energies around you. There's still things that you're latched on to. Still things that you're probably doing. Certain mindsets that you're still at. I feel like that you could be... We have the King of Cups here. I feel like that there is a pathway that you're on. That you actually deeply love. But you're not putting your energy in on it. It's like you're still putting your energy everywhere that doesn't serve you. Or you're putting your attention. There's something along those lines. You're, you're putting your attention to things that no longer serve you. And you're having a hard time, once again, letting go of the past. If you want something to be fruitful for you, then you have to put your energy and your encouragement and your support into it. And I mean full-heartedly. I'm not talking about half-assed shit. I'm talking about full-hearted stuff here. The portal would open for you, but you have to put the work into it and quit being so stubborn with the Five of Pentacles. It's almost like I'm really trying to make this work and I'm going to make it work. But not if your energy sucks. I mean, I'm just going to keep it real like that. But you do have an energy around you that is very loving and giving. And this person makes you self-reflect with the Hermit card. They make you self-reflect. They're like, you know that decision that you made? Yeah, about that. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. You could have a lot with this person. A lot of prosperity, a lot of abundance. We also have the Star card here. But it's going to take a lot of healing. Like, I feel like that there could be something here that you may need to heal with this person. But your ego is stopping you from doing it. Like, there's something that you know that you need to do. But your ego is definitely stopping you from doing it. it I almost feel like you want it to evolve or solve on its own. It's not going to do that. You're not going to get off that easy. But we have the magician to where you are manifesting your queen of pentacles to come to you. We also have the six of wands. So you are manifesting reciprocation, but you have to realize that you are only going to get out what you are putting in. Okay. We have the six of swords and we also have the king of swords. You definitely get in your head about certain things, but I feel like that you're going to have this epiphany moment and you're like, you know what, in order for me to do this or in order for me to get what it is that I used to have or in order for me to get what I, what I need or what I want, I have to put my mind space in it in a healthy way. Otherwise, you're not going to have it with this person or with anyone. So, with the King of Swords, waiting to see what is coming to you, we also have the Seven of Swords. There is a sense of... <sighs> so, 
Sagittarius. There's a sense of you trying to put forward healing and you're manifesting good things to come to you and you're trying to be patient, but we also have the Seven of Swords, which is deceitful energy. So there is almost a sense of you putting in the work or you're trying to show that you're putting in the work. But we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have dream space to where you're still looking out for just for yourself. And you're only focused on your dreams and your own happiness, which is fine. But don't be deceitful to somebody else in order to get there. And you're wanting to take a chance. Now you could also be moving away from deceitful people. So take it how it resonates for you. In order to see or in order to get what it is that you want, there are deceitful energies. Like you could be needing to get away from your own deceitful thoughts. You know, like maybe you're trying to manipulate a certain situation to go in your favor without you having to put any of the work in. Okay, so there could be that. But there could also be you letting go of manipulating people that you thought you were going to build with. There's almost a sense of wanting to have it all, but you still want everything that you want to do it the same way, and it doesn't matter how toxic it is, that's what you want. So, that's something to be mindful of as well. But if you're dealing with the Queen of Cups type of energy, as loving as this person is, they're not going to put up with that. They're not going to allow that. They're going to see right through that. So, all right, we are going to see what zodiac signs are with this. Um, we have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancers. We have Aquarius. We have Virgo. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Leo, yep, that's it. We're going to pull some advice from Spirit and see what Spirit has to say. Whatever you do, do if it comes to another person, do not fake it until you make it. That's going to do nothing but cause heartbreak later on. And also, this person will see through it. If you want any any kind of chance with this person, don't manipulate. All right. Spirit, what advice do you have for my Sagittarius babies? also mean that you're moving out of a manipulating type of mindset you know like if you're an overthinker and you have to control everything there is a sense of having the need to manipulate and so it's like you could definitely be moving out of that mindset in order to know what you need to know or to receive what you need to receive. I just felt a touch on my left arm. That could be uh, something for some of you. All right. So for your advice from Spirit, we have, instead of worrying about the future, I know all is well when I'm aligned in the moment. We have, when I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature. We have, the universe powerfully responds the instant I realign with love. We have, when I'm tuned in to the energy of abundance, I become abundant. 
We also have, I let the universe catch up with my dreams. We have, when I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. What did I tell you? That whole manipulation factor. We have, my super attractor power comes from how I feel, my faith and love, and the joy I put out. So, that is what I have for you for this week, Sagittarius. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.